Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Sunday. It's quiet out there. It's 20 past five and people are talking a big poorly. So I thought I'd come upstairs, sort out my R's for the 2020 collection video. Because let's face it, after that is yeses and that's going to take a while. Oh boy. Let's get started and get through this without anyone falling asleep, hopefully. First... RIPD in 3D. Yeah, this is cheap as chips anywhere you want now, but it's actually quite a cool film. The visuals are very well done. The creatures ain't going to break any records when it comes to the computer side of things, but it's fun. And I enjoyed it. And I just burped. Next, we have Race to Witch Mountain. Yeah, I've got to admit, I enjoyed it. I can't, I can't really say much bad about it. I mean, Dwayne's acting in it was a bit... Ugh, yeah, Rachel getting married. Um, it's Anne Hathaway, so I'm gonna buy it. I haven't seen it yet, but I do like Anne Hathaway just a little bit. <sighs> Raging Phoenix, haven't watched this yet, but it's in Asia again, so I'm gonna get it. She actually looks like such a badass, though, doesn't she? But so definitely always gonna pick up Sin Asia, one of the most viscerally crazy films you'll ever watch in your life. If you haven't seen this, get your ass out and get a copy. Or talk to me and I'll try and find you a copy and I'll send it to you. I mean, wow, you know, wow, brilliant film. And crazy as well, the sequel, Ray 2. Some of, the, I mean, you can't even explain just how visceral the fighting is in those films. It's absolutely, the stuntmen are nuts, it's that simple. Then we go to the other end of the scale, the railway men. Um, is it Colin Firth? Haven't seen this. Heard. Good pedigree, basically, so I'm going to pick up stuff like that. Then we have Rain Man, an absolute classic. I love Dustin Hoffman. Brilliantly made film. Awesome. You should have that in your collection, really. Ralph Breaks the Internet. Yes, I have Wreck-It Ralph, but it's in the W's. I'm thinking about picking up the Steelbook for this, because it's on sale at 9 99 on Zavi right now. Definitely worth it. Um, This isn't as good as the first. The first is a classic. This is good. But the other one's a classic, in my opinion. The Rambler. I have no idea. It looks like an Australian cheeky shit, but I haven't watched it yet. Rambo First Blood, a absolute classic. Rambo First Blood Part 2, a classic. Part 3, pile of shit. 4, as it were. Awesome, very, very, very violent, and I haven't bothered to pick up the last one yet because it disappointed me. It did disappoint me. I mean, it, it looks, it's, it, it's literally looks like a, a lump of leather on legs. Next, we have Willie Harrelson in Rampart. I've heard good things about this, but yeah, another one I just haven't got around to watching yet. Rango, um, story wise, not the weirdest thing in the world, but visually. Extremely well done. Then we have Ratatouille, one of my favourite animation films ever. This is brilliant. It doesn't rely on idiotic characters or anything. It, it's very smoothly done. Highly recommend this, especially in 3D, which I'm still trying to find a copy in 3D. Finding it hard to get one of those. The Raven. This is a remake, I think. But it's John Cusack, so anything John Cusack I'm going to buy. The Reader, no idea. Got to be mushy mushy. It's cheap, so I bought it. Then we have Ready Player One in 3D. I'm going to be picking this up again in 4K. I did have it in 4K, but oh, I love this film. This tests out your speakers. This really tests out your sub. If you, if you dial it in perfectly, wow, it sounds amazing in this film. The visuals. Real Steel, got a German version here, and I do have it as a steel book as well. Yeah, it's a good film. A bit off the wall, not exactly what you'd expect of him, but good. Hilary Swank in The Reaping, one of those that I still haven't watched. Heard okay -ish things, but not one where it would make me jump straight on it. Reasonable Doubt, anything Samuel Jackson's going to be cool in my opinion, but not one that I'd just run out and watch. The Rebound. I, had, I think I had two different covers of this once for some reason. I don't know why. But a uh, bit of romance. Supposed to be quite good. Not watched yet. 
Next we have the Rec series. So we've got Rec 1, Rec 2, uh, Rec Genesis, and Rec Apocalypse. Uh, they're, just, they're just nuts. There's not really a way of explaining those except watch it. Then we go on to Recoil. Anything with Danny Trago is going to be good in my opinion. Haven't watched it yet though. The Recruit. Bloody good Al Pacino film. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Good thriller. Redacted. Not watched yet, but you'll find it in the £2 aisle at the Poundland. I really like these next two. Red. Bruce Willis and yes, Helen Mirren. I just love the cast. The storyline is brilliant. And it's even funnier in the sequel. Because Bruce Willis really has got a hump on about things in it. It's a, I, I just love those two films. I've probably watched them about 25 times. At least. Next. The Red Baron. Uh, in the two for three pounds on Music Magpie. So I bought it. I haven't watched it yet. I heard good things. Red Bout. Again, another one I haven't watched. But it's got his name that. I can't even say his name. Check it if you if you here. Uh, he's in Doctor Strange. I can never say his name. Red Cliff. Martial arts amazing. Red Dawn, the remake. Not bad. The original's better with Patrick Swayze. But you try finding that. That's quite a hard one to get hold of. Recent pickup that I have not watched. Red Dog. Heard good things. But uh, more more like romantic comedy type thing. So yeah, definitely worth doing. Red Dragon, part of the old Silence of the Lambs skits on that, so it looks quite cool. Red Heat, yeah, I bought this, and literally three days later they announced the 4K version coming out. It is a classic film, but I would have got it 4K if I'd known. Red Hill, not watched at all. Am I missing something? I'm not that I'm not that into Westerns. Red Lights, it's Pacino, it's not It's De Niro. Pacino, what am I saying, Pacino? End of the day, it's De Niro, so you've got to get it. Red Line. Yes, yeah, screams of a made-for-TV movie to me, that one. Red Mist. Another one where I've heard good things but yet to watch. I don't really need to get into these dark thrillers more. Red Riding Hood. Looks quite cool, actually. I've never got around to watching it, but I've seen the advert and it's a bit weird. Red State. One my friend Anthony really likes. I don't know why. I've yet to watch it. Red Tails. I simply love this because it's got, you know, Spitfires in it. And where was the Spitfire made? Southampton. Then we have Redcon 1. Bit of a nutsoid one, this. I've, I've been trying to pick it up for about six months, finally got hold of a copy. Remember me? Yeah, it was 50p. It's, yeah, it's Robert Patterson. I'll tell you, if he pulls off a decent Batman, I'll shake the guy's hand, but I really ain't looking forward to it. Rendition, I've given this away a couple of times, but still not watched it myself. Oh, you got to watch this. The Replacement Killers, Chao Young Fat. He's like the original cool guy. Then he got took over with Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen, that type of thing. But Chao Young Fat, he's, he's cool. You ever watch Hard Boiled? If you haven't, watch that. Repo Men. Yeah, I like Jude Law in this. A bit of an evil one, really. Rescue Dawn. Christian Bell. Man can't do no wrong. The rescue is down under and the rescue is in the double pack from Australia. It cost me less than four quid. I will take that all day long. You'll find that is at least eight quid in CEX. So get it off eBay from Australia. It costs you less than a fiver. Never has the opening of the film been as brutal as this. When they, they literally swish cheese that cop car. Wow. That makes you sit up and take notice. But brilliant film nonetheless. The Resident. Not watched yet. I've heard okay things, but I will reserve judgment. Then, oh, let me get rid of these and we're going to go into a big pile now. We have Resident Evil Damnation. Haven't watched. This is one of the CGI ones. And then we have Degeneration. Again, not watched yet. And Vendetta. Haven't watched yet. Then we have the amazing classic that is Resident Evil. Then we have Resident Evil Apocalypse. Then we have Extinction. <laughs> Then we have Afterlife. Then we have Afterlife in 3D. Then we have the Resident Evil Collection, which has four of the films together. Then we have the final chapter. 
Then we have the final chapter in 3D. And bear in mind, I also have six different Resident Evil Steelbooks as well. Do you think that's a bit overkill? I don't care anyway, I'm going to buy them. But it's cool. Oh, let's keep going. Retreat. No idea. Haven't watched it at all. Again, it's that Cillian Murphy guy out of um, Peaky Blinders. So there's got to be some merit to it. And then we have The Return. Sam Michelle Gell is really pushing it for any decent quality in her titles for the last couple of years. I'm not too sure about it. Ha House on Haunted Hill. If you've got a copy, keep the bugger. It's like the price of it second hand has gone 15, 16 quid. I, I did have it and I traded it in ages ago, stupidly. But I do have Return to the House on Haunted Hill and never watched that one. The Revenant. Highly recommend you watch this in 4K. I, I did own it in 4K at one time. But, oh, yeah, he deserved an Oscar on that one. Wow. Then we have The Revenant. It's like a comedy gore fest. Uh, it's one I want to get around to watching because I've heard stupid things about it. But I ain't got around to it just yet. Revenge for Jolie. Again, not watched it. But it was cheap. As was Revolutionary Road. I just can't bring myself to watch something with them two in again. Titanic was enough for me. Then we have the rewrite. Anything Hugh Grant's funny in my opinion, but Marissa Tomei getting a bit flaky nowadays. Invisible Worlds with Richard Hammond. There's some beautiful sights in this. Good documentary. Then we have Ricky Gervais live. Uh, I love Ricky Gervais. Nothing I can say against him. We have Riddick, the extended cut with Vin Diesel. Looks like he's doing another one, but that Bloodshot's coming out in a couple of months, isn't it? It's not going to hit cinemas, it's coming out on 4K and Blu, I think. June 1st or something like that? I'll have to double check that. Ride along. Yeah, I thought that was bloody funny. But we didn't need a sequel, if you ask me. It, they tried and it didn't work. It didn't need a sequel. To me, that sequel is a money grabber, nothing more. Righteous kill, kill, De Niro again. Ma when the man, when he turns in nasty, you don't want to fuck with him. Cool film. Rings, yeah, lots of people hated on this. I haven't even bothered to watch it yet. But I got it cheap, so I got it. Love, Rio. Classic film. Classic, classic film. Then we have Rio in 3D. Beautifully done 3D. This was the first one... No, which one? Nope. Rio 2. But then we have Rio 2 and 3D. This was the first time I got fucked with, with, with an eBay sale. It's a pirate. But it's a very well done pirate. So I kept it. But cheeky fucker who did it. You know who you are, you bastard. The Riot Club. Yeah. Why is it with British films all being violent? I don't know. We're not that violent to people. Ripper Street, series one, is it? Yeah, series one. Good series. Really good series. Then we have series two. And then I jumped to series four, which I actually think is an American one, which is region three. Got that from a viewer. So I've got to pick up the third one. Then we have The Rise. Look, another British one that's violent. You see a pattern going on there. Honestly, we can do more than romantic comedies and football violence. I swear we can. You try finding something. Then we have Rise with Lucy Liu. Bit, bit of vampire shit, I think, isn't it? Haven't bothered watching it yet. <laughs> Just proved my point. The Rise and Full of a White Collar Hooligan 1 and 2. Yes, British. Yes, violent. Yes, football. There we go again. Rise of the Foot Soldier. Rise of the Foot Soldier 2. Rise of the Foot Soldier I do have as a steel book. Rise of the Foot Soldier 3, the Pat Tate story. There is a fourth one that's recently come out, Mar Marbello or something, uh, but I haven't picked him up just yet. I'm definitely not paying through the nose on that one. I love this film. It's so well animated. Rise of the Guardians is brilliant, but seriously, watch it in 3D and it'll knock your socks off. It's brilliant. Rise of the Craze, yeah, made for TV in my opinion. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, classic. Rise of the Shadow Warrior, cheap. 
Rise of the Zombies. Cheap. But it's Danny Trejo, so I'm going to buy it. One and a bit piles left. Are you still with me? I hope so. Next, Rising Sun. Not a bad film. Sean Connery has the stupidest haircut. It's like, it's like his mum fucked uh, Bruce Forsyth or something with that haircut. Anthony Hopkins in right. Anything with Anthony Hopkins is cool. The Road. Another one of those documentaries. Haven't watched it yet. The Road. Yeah, with what's going on right now, I don't think I'll bother watching that. Road to Paloma. Yes, that is Jason Maroma. I have not watched this yet, but I'm sure a lot of ladies have. Road to Petition. Yeah, cool film. Cool film. Rob Roy. Couldn't stand it. Uh, yeah, it has many plaudits. Lots of people like it. Even I can't take Liam Neeson in a kilt. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Lots of people hated on this. Robin Hood. Taron Egerton. I can't help myself. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, There's not much more I can say to that. I'm a fan of Taron. Yes, he was pushing it a bit in it. And it was a bit over the top. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Robin Hood with uh, you know who, Russell Crowe. The main reason I hate on this is because in some of the scenes you can see him wearing a pair of jeans because it said on the set he couldn't be asked to get changed. Are you fucking kidding me, you twat? You're not above actually putting some artistic measure into your films, you prick. So I, ha I have it, but I hate it just for that reason. But then we get for the classic, one of the last classics he's ever made, in my opinion, Kevin Costner, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Brilliant film. And Alan Rickman is amazing in that. Robocop Trilogy. I watched the second remake of Star Wars last night. And Peter Weller was one of the bad guys in it. Which surprised me. But yeah, that was cool. The remake of Robocop. Yeah, you could have left it in the uh, annals of time there. Robo Geisha. I mean, just look at that cover. Yeah, another Synasia. How am I not going to pick that up? Robot and Frank. No idea. I mean, end of the day, it, was, it just looks very interesting. And Susan Sarandon's in it, and she doesn't, she doesn't do bad work, does she? Robot Overlords. Oh, yeah, it's cheap. I've got it as a steelbook as well, but it's cheap. Robots. One of the best vehicles Robin Williams has ever been in. Really well done. Really funny. Simple as that. You can't deny it on that one. Not that one. well-known film either. The classic that is The Rock, a very recent pickup of my God knows why I didn't have it in my collection. Rock and Roller, good film, good Guy Ritchie film. There's supposed to be a trilogy to that. Will that ever happen? Who knows? Rock of Ages, yeah, plenty of haters on this, but you can't knock what Tom Cruise did with this. Bloody good. Funny. The classic that is Rocky. But then I've got Rocky 5. I haven't got the other three yet. But I've got Rocky Balboa. Rogue One in 3D. I had to get it like this because I did all of this steel book, that beautiful steel book we all know about, and then Zavi lost it in the post. And their idea of customer service was, oh, here's your money back. Not try and find me another one, it was, here's your money back. Wankers. Seriously, if you can, watch that in 3D because it's it smooth as a baby's ass. Role models, never watched it. Does look quite funny though, by the advert. Romeo and Juliet, yeah, I, I can't stand it, but I've got to have it. There's a cheaper version of Romeo and Juliet as well. I haven't even watched that one. Documentary on Ronaldo, looks like he's going to be the first, was it, the first, second, or third billion dollar player? Ronin, wow, there's some bloody action. Highly recommend that. De Niro and Jean Renault, yeah, got to have it. Room, I heard good things, but never actually got around to watching this one yet. Won plenty of awards as well. The Roommate, yeah, you can find this in most two pound R's in the pound shop. Rough Night, got a rough ride with the critics on this one. Understandable as well, because when you're used to her kicking ass and she goes on a piss up, it just don't work. In my opinion, it just really did not work. Almost there, guys. 
rounders plenty of people going about rounders um i've yet to see it don't quite understand the hype behind it but i've got to have it the rover guy pierce is in it that's the only reason i bought it brilliant actor but i'm yet to get around to watching it a royal riot the night out i have no idea <laughs> 50p rpg another one that's sniffing its way around the pound shop at the moment Ruby Sparks, a recent pickup. I was going to pick it up for £3.50, but then I waited a month and it went down to £1.50. So oh, I'm going to pick it up then. The Run Diary. I do, I did or do. Did I have that? I might have this as a still book somewhere. I'll have to double check. Rumour has it. Yeah. So she gets back with Brad Pitt. She's a fucking idiot. Run All Night. Good film. One of the last decent ones from Liam Neeson, in my opinion. He's getting too samey. Run, fat boy, run. Yeah, I've been told that plenty of times in my life. The Runner. Paying your bills again. Runner, runner. Good thriller. Yeah, Ben Affleck's a bit of a cunt, isn't it? Rush. This is based on a true story, remember? Yes, he did get that burnt up. As in him. And yeah, he did carry on. He only recently passed away as well, so much respect. Running Scared. Paul Walker, I had to get it from Germany. Hasn't been released over here, but cool film. Rupture, haven't watched yet. It cost me 50p, so. And this last one. Yes, you can pick up Rush Hour. Yes, you can pick up Rush Hour 3. You try finding number two anywhere in this country. Ain't gonna happen. So I picked up the Rush Hour Trilogy in Germany. And I paid over the odds for that, but it's bloody worth it because the second one's brilliant anyway. That is my R's. Now, I haven't decided yet as to whether my S's are going to be in one video or two. If it's one, will you fall asleep? Let me know in the comments. Should I do my S's in one go or a couple of videos? Because there's shitloads. As any collector knows, by far the most films you will have will be in alphabetical order your S's. It's just the way that life works. Um, I really enjoyed doing the R's actually because there's a few films in there I really need to get around to watching. Now I'm going to go back to watch Big Paulie if he's not gone for his dinner. And then I'll be back tomorrow with What's Out video and also I'll probably try and get my S's done as well. Take care, be safe and that was it, another 600 plus die. Oh, it's getting tough out there guys, isn't it? I do pray that everyone is safe. I really hope you're not going to do lally. If you need to talk, hit me up on Facebook. I'm always there to chat with anyone who thinks they need it. I can always be a shoulder. And I'm always going to be in here for anybody who needs it. Alright, take care. Talk to you guys soon.